ambitious Meghan driving force to launch Hollywood Empire even take the crown from Oprah. The Duchess of Sussex, along with Prince Harry, have launched a series of projects since moving to the U.S. after leaving their roles in the royal family. PR experts have said Meghan Markle could launch an empire. Meghan Markle has launched several projects since leaving the UK last year, and a PR guru believed she could launch her own business empire. They added that she may one day be known as the Queen of Hollywood and could ever take Oprah Winfrey's crown. The Duchess of Sussex revealed her latest initiative on her 40th birthday earlier this week, 40 by 40, to help women back into work who had been affected by the pandemic. Professor Jonathan Chalatobie, talent manager who worked with the couple's pal Elton John, said the Duchess' birthday could become the start of her creating an empire. He told, Meghan's 40th will be the beginning of a huge decade for her, it'll be the start of building her business empire. Andy Barr, PR expert, added ambitious Meghan is the driving force between her and the Duke of Sussex's future career aspirations. I fully expect them to have their own production company within five years and to be bigger than their A-list peers who are floating around Hollywood right now, he added. I believe she's looking to take Oprah's crown, which is ironic, considering she's given them a foothold in America. He went on to say it's not inconceivable if the Sussexes went on to have a joint TV show, whether they raise awareness around humanitarian issues, adding it's a rumor he's heard. The next five years for Meghan could be the most important, says Professor Shallot, who could become one of the most in-demand celebrities in Hollywood. The royal couple, who sat down with Oprah Winfrey in March for a bombshell CBS interview about life within the firm, have seen the show be nominated for an Emmy Award in the Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series or Special category. Conversations about how dark their baby's skin tone would be. A rift between Prince Harry and his father so deep that Harry said his father at one point stopped taking my calls. And Meghan, Duchess of Sussex saying she just didn't want to be alive anymore. These were some of the shocking details described by Harry and Meghan in an exclusive interview with Oprah Winfrey the first they have given since they stepped away from official royal duties last year. They said they would have stayed had they gotten support from the royal family. In one of the only light-hearted moments, the couple revealed their second child, expected this summer, will be a girl. But Harry and Meghan spent most of the discussion trying to give their side of many of the tabloid stories that have circulated about them since they got together, including one about how Meghan had once made her sister-in-law, Catherine, cry. While they had harsh words for their treatment in the press, the most disturbing parts of the interview centered on how they were treated by members of the royal family. Harry said he had a really good relationship with the Queen, but said he was disappointed by his father and that, while he loves his brother William to bits, they're on different paths. Meghan said that in the months when I was pregnant. We have in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security, he's not going to be given a title and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. Harry said it was not a conversation he ever wanted to discuss. Meghan said she had a clear and real and frightening thought about suicide while she was a working member of the royal family. Harry said she did not receive any support from the royal family over her mental health, saying, it was not a conversation to be had. The pair focused heavily on the royal family's refusal to provide security for them an especially grave concern for Harry given his mother's death. He said that his experience with Meghan showed him how hard it must have been for his mother. Meghan also recently unveiled she is working on a new project, an animated Netflix series, somewhat based on her own childhood. She also published a children's book earlier in the year called The Bench. It achieved a spot on the New York Times bestseller list but failed to the UK official chart after selling only 3,212 copies in the first week. Three